Hello guys, welcome to Tutorial Verse. My name is Ibrahim and today we will be talking about basic CSS. This video is for everyone, mostly beginners. You don't need to have previous web development knowledge except for HTML in this video. In this video we will not be talking about advanced CSS as flex, box, animation and stuff. Just because it may get too long and it may annoy some people. So there will be another video just on that stuff, which we'll be releasing soon. So here is the simple example, what is CSS? And here is the uh, simple, simple uh, HTML document without CSS uh, applied to it. And uh, on the right side is a document after applying some CSS to it. What is CSS? Cascading style sheets used to decorate a web page, used to create responsive layouts as well. So there is three types of CSS: inline CSS, embedded CSS, external CSS. Mostly by professionals, it's used external CSS, but there are many developers who use inline and embedded CSS as well. So to in order to follow this tutorial, you need simple browser, any browser as Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Text Editor, Visual Studio Code, Atom, Sublime Text, Notepad++. I prefer Visual Studio Code. So all HTML elements can be considered as boxes. In CSS, the term box model is used when talking about designing and layout. The CSS box model is essentially a box that wraps around every HTML element. It consists of margins, borders, padding, <clears throat> and the actual content. So let's start, guys. Let's open our favorite IDE, and then we can open a folder. I already created one folder on my desktop, so I'm going to use this folder called Tutorial Verse. I'm going to open that folder and make a simple HTML document in there. So I'm going to call it index.html. And I'm going to do inline styling and embedded styling. But I'm going to tell you what is ex external CSS as well. So to start with, we're going to talk about colors. So we need our document first. So talk type. So here is the shortcut for that. So I have I have my frame of the HTML document here. I use the I'm gonna use the shortcut for that. So here is our uh, actual HTML tags, head tag, body tag, where <coughs> all, all, all the content goes. So I'm gonna open it in browser. And as you can see, we have nothing there. We have nothing there. And we're gonna make first tag we're gonna use is H1 tag. We're gonna apply some styles to H1 tag. So we're gonna say another hello world to everyone. Then we're gonna apply, and as we can see, if we refresh the web page, it's just a plain hello world without any styles applied to it. Now we can start our CSS. So this is called inline styling, and inline styling is typed like like this. So style, you want document to know that you're gonna style the element. In order to apply styles to element using inline style, you need to write style to every element you want to style. So we're gonna put background color for the for this uh, specific element. Background color and semicolon, and I'm gonna put Deutsch 
Capture, Blue. We save it. We refresh the document, and here is the background of our uh, text. We're gonna put another one. We're gonna put different different color now. Another H1. We're gonna say some some dummy text. Lorem. Ipsum. And we're gonna give it some other style. Style. We're gonna give it some other color. Background color. Background color. Green. Green. We save it. We refresh the document. And we, here we have the second element with different color of the background. You can put the uh, image as a background as well. <clears throat> We're not going to do it for this one because that's the, that's the embedded uh, CSS, which, which goes in head here. Still, we need to specify style. We want to computer to know that we're gonna style the document. Style, we're gonna put body. But instead of image, we're gonna put just a color. So let's put a color. Background color. It's gonna be gray. Here is our background color. Then we're gonna skip to borders. So we have, we can have any type of border around any element one. So we're gonna put another paragraph tag. We're gonna use paragraph tag this time. We're gonna put some dummy text inside of it. Then we're going to apply style and have a border around it. So we can have, for example, border style. It's going to be dotted, dotted border. And if we refresh the page, here is our paragraph with uh, dotted border around it. We can make another border around different paragraph. Ipsum and then style. And then we're gonna use just double border. Let's make a double border around this paragraph. Border style. And I'm gonna put Is our our border around the paragraph? We can also put the color of the border. We can change the color of the border. Paragraph. Dummy text. Then we put style. Border style. I'm gonna put solid this time, and we can specify border color as a red here. Save the document, and here is our another paragraph with border around it. We can change any text in the document we want. So how we do that? First, we're gonna make a text. We're gonna write text. We're gonna use another paragraph, the dummy text. And then we are going to change, change the color of the text. Style, we just say color. It's going to be purple, save it, and here's our purple 
text. We can align text. I'm going to use another paragraph. I'm going to align text. Yeah. Fresh the document. Align text. Align. Align text. So then we're going to specify the style to align it. So you can move it to the right or to the left or you can keep it centered as well. So style text align center for example. Refresh the document, we have text in the middle. We have have same text. Right. And we can have it as by default on the left, but you can still specify it and it's, it's going to be on the left as well. We can overline, line through, and underline the text as well. Text, paragraph, next paragraph, line. We have nothing there yet. Now we're going to apply a style. Style line nitro. Text declaration. We need to say that. Text declaration. Text declaration. And here is our declaration. We can make everything if if you're not writing it right away as a capital letters whole text as a capital letters paragraph we can capitalize letters we can make them lowercase all the letters of the paragraph for example we're gonna use the one paragraph here we can say text Transform upper case, and here is the upper case. You can put spacings between them, the letters. So let's say let's put can we text here, and we're gonna put. It's gonna be like. By default, it's going to be a regular paragraph, but if we put spacing between the letters, it's going to look much different. Style, letter, spacing, and here, five pixels. And here, there is letter spacing between each letter. We can put also word spacing as well. Let's add it. Word spacing. And here's a word spacing as well. We can have many different fonts. I'm going to show you the, the beginner's fonts. So I'm going to make another paragraph. Put Dummy text there, and it's going to be basic paragraph again. Now we're going to make it different font. Let's put, let's put font style, font style, italic. italic. Here is our italic font. We can specify the size of the font as well. Let's do it. Font size. Size. 40 pixels. Here is our big text. After we apply styles to it, we can make a, it's even bolder than this right now. So let's uh, do it to the same 
paragraph font weight it's gonna be a bold Let's see here we have it. next thing we are going to teach you is how to link and make external style sheet so go to heading and now we're gonna make a link tag link style sheet it's gonna be type of text css and href the actual link is going to be our we're gonna name it my styles later on my styles dot css and we're gonna close the tag it's a standalone tag it's just a single tag so here's our linking and now we're gonna make another my style dot css file and now we can basically do the same thing but externally and it's easier to modify css than it's uh, inline and embedded and that's uh, usually what uh, professional web developers do so we can basically bring any properties back so we can make body body background color we're gonna put as a aqua save refresh the page and it's not gonna overwrite embedded style but we can remove it remove this save it again and refresh maybe we can change it to green yellow green save it save it. I have some my style at CSS I'm bring it up here save it and here is our background of the whole page so we can basically specify give ID or class which is used to apply styles in external style sheets in embedded style sheets as well so we can give it ID saying first heading ID it's gonna be the name of our ID and I can basically cut this and as you can see it's no background in the first h1 tag and now if we declare this id in the external style sheet we declare it this way i'm gonna say first heading and then you declare the styles here then we're gonna get our background of the h1 tag back and also we can id is used to apply styles to specific elements so basically you can use id for only one id for per element but if you want to modify a couple different or same tags you want to make class for it so we need to declare class we're gonna call it par par modify and we're gonna apply and give the same class to different paragraphs to the first three paragraphs here and we're going to give it a call that class by putting dot first and modify 
and then we're gonna apply style. So we're gonna make it color. Great. And we're gonna have all those three paragraphs with red color. So three of them were modified. Now we're gonna talk about margins and padding. So what is margin? Margin is space between content and edge of the screen. So for example, this hello world can be pushed to any direction. We can margin top, bottom, left and right as well. So let's do that. So we are going to give a class name, for example, to the, the first element here. Let's do embedded style. So we are going to use ID for this element and we're going to margin it from top, bottom, right and left. And we're going to push that element to any way we want. Margin. And now we're going to specify the, the value for, for the margin margin top top we're gonna put 50 pixels and now if we save it and then we refresh the page if we refresh we refresh the page it's gonna push it from the top for example if we put 100 it's gonna push it so this this space is increased and if we put margin left 20 pixels and you will see it's going to add space on the left of this element yeah space there margin right another 20 pixels we save it and here it it's giving us a margin and now I'm gonna put margin margin bottom and give it 100 pixels as well so here is the here is the space we got this is uh, this is about margin so we can do the same thing with any element in the in the document we have here and then we can go to padding. Padding is space between content content and the border of the element. So for example, if we have border here, we can do it on this element. So first paragraph, we can give it an ID. So bar pad, I'm going to give him give it 10 ID bar pad then we're gonna pick this ID here bar pad and padding top it's going to be 10 pixels for now and here is the padding so if we put 40 pixels you're gonna see it much better here it is I'm going to put padding right 40 pixels. We refresh the page right, it's here now. Padding left 40 pixels. We save it and we see the, the spaces here and padding bottom. 40 pixels and I have padding all around the uh, border and the content all right guys thank you very much for watching we're gonna be adding more content to our channel on uh, different uh, different languages different topics different aspects of uh, web and uh, applications development programming in general and please subscribe and we see you guys later. Thank you very much.